that so we're going for an overnight just a short like i think it's a nine mile loop or something come on sal um anyway so up in pisgah with tara and yeah should be fun hopefully it's supposed to rain tomorrow so enjoy the sunshine while we've got it and yeah i'll show y'all the way 39 more minutes so we're headed up we're gonna park at the fish hatchery in pisgah uh, i can't remember the name of the road that's off of but that's where you um start the hike to john rock from which i've done that before i did that last year so check out that video to see the parking area and all that um which i'll show a little bit today but i'm kind of running late so i don't know how much i'll actually remember to film while i'm in the parking lot but um yeah so we're gonna start there and we're gonna go Clockwise, yeah, clockwise, starting at Cat Gap, going up and then taking the side route to John Rock, tying back into Cat Gap, take that to connect to the Art Lobe, get on the Art Lobe to Butter Gap, or somewhere in that area for camp tonight. Um, so I think it's going to be like four or five miles, depending on where we stop, and then finish out the loop tomorrow to. Uh, you just take the art lobe and then I think you take a right on I don't remember the name now but anyway so this is like a nice little like nine or ten mile loop um, nothing too ambitious just getting out for a night but uh yeah just ready to be back in the mountains the beach was fun and all that but I really like the mountains There's plenty of parking. Ah, golly. But for some reason, the bugs are really, really bad in the parking parking area. So hopefully, they're not going to be bad this evening. Um, all right. So I think that I think that was up here last time about the dogs falling off John Rock. That's so sad. I mean, I couldn't even imagine that. At Butter Gap, so I don't know if they did some tree trimming while they were there. And I'd hate to walk all the way there and then there not be <laughs> trees and have to backtrack. Yeah. Something that's it had like oranges and apples. And I mean, like there's there's the ruins. There's a mansion. There's like an old settlement. So down in there's a good little camp spot. Probably hammock tent friendly. And this is a quarter mile from the parking lot. So you can see the path down. It's here. So, but there's a lot, a good bit of dead trees though. 
have my pack cover back on all that and I go to set up my tent and guess what I forgot my stakes in the very back of my so I had to uncover my bag I got my umbrella so I just seems like this would be slippery Some cool seashells though that was really neat yeah, I saw that. yeah. so it's like there might be another campsite at point five i wonder if people's been hanging their bear bag there yeah, that's what it looks like. not my finest moment point seven three. so point seven three down there's no little campsite So this crossing's at point nine two. So we're gonna stay straight at this junction, but you can take a right here and look back to the parking lot. Point nine eight. Here's my little campsite at 1.18. It's kind of on a hill. Not super tent friendly. I mean, like maybe right in there might be flat enough. Definitely plenty of room for hammocks. So again, you know, you got dead trees. You got that one down there. You got this one that's dead. Like, you're not done. Come on. Get back. Yeah. Get back. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? 1.27. We're going to take a ride on John Rock. winter meal seems like the clouds are building up water one thing I will note is where we took the right to get on this trail the John Rock Trail um, you could stay straight you wanted to save some miles um, but we wanted to come over here and see the views We got like five eighths of a mile to the top.
that open spot. I'm gonna set up a tent right here. It's at 1.98. I think that's like one of the times like tra having the trekking poles is a good thing. Oh, sure. <laughs> you see looking glass through the trees. Alright, this must be it. This looks heavily used. So 2.16, we're going to take a right on the side trail. South. So that's looking glass. My car right down there. Oh, yep, I see my car. And John Rock at two and two point two. So this is the main trail. This is and take that to go down how we came up. Two point two five. So we did meet a couple at John Rock and. They were saying um, about a month ago that pretty much everything up here was dry. So, um, I know it's rained in the last week, but we'll see what the water sources look like. May need to start saving the water. But anyway, now just to climb up this this hill mountain this is cool to see the mountains through the trees so right in there's another little campsite it's at 2.34 I think I filmed this camp here before but you got room for hammock tent I don't see a fire ring it's a great view right here So I think that right there is Cedar Rock. That we're not gonna go over that today. We're gonna go around it. So there's a trail that goes over Cedar Rock. I've not done that yet. Future goals, but um, the art lobe skirts like around it. So that's what we're gonna do. Cause there should be a campsite right below on the back side of Cedar Rock that we're gonna try to get to. Um, if we don't feel like pushing on to Burger Gap. We'll just see what the campsites look like. Uh, here's another kind of little camping area in here. Could probably hang. No fire ring, but be like this would be a good time of year to camp here to get like a sunrise view.
seems like this has been trimmed back since I've been here. So I remember it being more overgrown. fire ring probably hang a hammock there once you're done with your fire or set a tent there 2.88 if I said this is the it's like December 12th I think no it's like, it's like the first or like almost second week of December and I'm in a tank top um, yes yeah, December 8th so but it was like a high like in the upper 50s 60s today so close uh, to like climbing and stuff like hot so I just didn't want to get my sweater all wet and stuff from sweat. I may have to put it back on because it's starting to cool down now. It is currently 3.36. I think we got a couple more miles at least to go. So, I'm going to show y'all the way. I'm just grateful for the sun because, you know, tomorrow, at least that last check, it was calling, it was calling for rain starting early in the morning but it was only like a 20 or 20 or 40 percent chance and then it just kind of grows throughout the day I think it was like chance, like 50 percent chance all the way up until like two or three and then it or maybe later I don't know and then it jumps to 80 so anyway we're just, I'm just enjoying the sun but I will say like I and you'll see it if you watch my John Rock video where this is the side I came up last. Um, so if you want a more gradual ascent to John Rock, I recommend going up the way we just did um, by taking the first right instead of the second because coming up this, just their steps and stuff. So um, I think the climb is overall shorter, though I honestly don't know. I can't remember. But. Um, just pick your poison but I think this side's a little more rooty and stuff too yeah so I think we're going straight because before when I was here I took the right where that couple is hi, hi. hi. are you guys sisters no we're just no. friends Hi, there. Hi, it's so good to see you. I posted about our last hike on Facebook and my sister was like, you two look more like sisters than we do. <laughs> okay, so you can go that way, go back to the parking area, which is what I did in the John Rock video. You can go that way, which is connect up where we were at earlier. So we are going up. Uh oh, somebody left their water bottle. Oops, we is. So we're at 3.03 miles. I finally found somebody else who doesn't like hills. <laughs> but it's like a 600, just under 650 foot climb. But it should be our last like, major climb of the trip because most of tomorrow, if not all of it, is downhill. <sighs> I'm 
assuming we're going up this. So I know we go over this ridge and the art lobe is on the other side. And that's where we're gonna connect up with. Take a ride on that. And either stay near Cedar Rock or push on to Butter Gap. But almost four. So I may end up doing a little night hiking. Let's see. Just enjoying the rest of the day. I had to put my layer back on. I was feeling cold. This is the junction. <laughs> There's a numerous trails coming in through here. But we're gonna hang a right to stay on the art lobe. Or to get on the art lobe lobe. Okay. So this is at 3.36. This is this junction. Yeah, I think the art lobe turns left here. And Cat Gap keeps going straight. It looks like people have been camping here. So 3.37. Yeah, so art lobe, so that's what we're gonna be on. So yeah, 3.37. And we keep going up. I'm back on the art lobe! Harder than I thought it was going to be. I was like, oh, this would be a quick and easy overnight. It's like, I think the elevation of this is like 1700 and like four or five miles. And um, we gained 1394 so far. It's got 500 feet to go, allegedly. Yeah, we've gained 15.52 so far. So, I think this is another one where all trails is gonna be off because when I routed it on there, it was like 1,700 feet. So, but I mean, tomorrow's gonna be easy. It's all downhill. We just gotta make it first. Four, almost 4.30. And we probably got another mile and a half or so to go. Beautiful ridgeline views. Whew. 
And up and up and up we go. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. I love this, this in the winter. Now I'm kind of tempted. This would be a good time of year, especially like with the weather like what we've had today and do a end to end like day hike. I kind of want to attempt that 30 miles in a day. Well, like at three or something in the morning, super early in the morning. That'd be really cool to do. Huh, I don't know, we'll see. I definitely want to come back and something like that. That would be cool. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> kind of looks smoky in there in the valley. Hopefully there's not a forest fire somewhere. And it's funny because I know on the Cumberland video I was talking about that I would probably do the last trip for these shoes. I think I've said that in like three separate trip videos. Oh, this is the last trip for the shoes and guess what I'm still wearing them I'm trying to get every ounce of wear out of these shoes because I really didn't want to wear my new shoes and get them soaking wet anyway so anyway I'm doing good So this is the trail split to go up Cedar Rock at the four mile mark. Yeah, so this is that side trail to go up Cedar Rock, but we'll stay this way. So this is Sandy Gap at the four mile mark. Oh wow, this is dry. Ooh, not good. This is bone dry and this had like water in it last time that's here. That's it, 4.16. There's a little campsite. Four point one six. You want to keep going? 
and it's 1.6 all the way to Butter Gap. We'll see what else is around. It's definitely tent friendly. Here looks like another water source that's dried up. For 4.21. Gosh, there's another one that's dry. 4.24. See, here's another one. It's dry too. Not good. Yeah, we're definitely. I think I'm gonna have to use my extra water and my hydration bladder for a meal tonight. 4.27. Even the main stream is dry. Dang. Wow. I didn't, I mean, I, I knew it had been dry, but I don't even think I realized. I mean, I guess I should know because Linville was like that, but you know, I was thinking maybe with the extra like rain, it's just, there's nothing. I mean, it's just bone dry. I mean, there's not even a trickle. Not even a puddle. 4.29. Bad. Oh. See this one. I mean, Caitlin did Art Lobe. Like, I mean, this this was water. Like, I assumed this was like a year-round stream. So this is the back side of Cedar Rock. And there's just, there's just no water. None. And I mean, I know better gap. Some people said it was dry. Some people said it had water. So, I mean, Sally's even looking for water. So, I think we may just end up camping here. While there's still daylight. Look at this campsite. Plenty of trees. They don't look too dead, I guess. Oh, these trees don't look the best. Is that tree right there is dead. And that tree there's leaning so I feel like if I set up over there it's gonna crash into me but I don't know that better gap is any better <sighs> no, this is at 4.38 There's that enough water for camp and the hack out tomorrow. So I mean just these trees just don't look the best. That there's a broken limb in this one. I mean, that was like a trail, but maybe that's just a bathroom trail. I just don't know. I don't know about the site. So I just see a lot of dead limbs. And I don't know if this would be a good place for a tent or not because it's awfully slopey. We'll see what she thinks. 
So you know that one's not good either. <laughs> That's a cool rock though. Alright, so we didn't really care for the camps out there because well, But anyway, so yeah, we took a look at the campsite. There's just seemed to be a lot of dead trees, and we're both hammock camping, so, you know, uh, we just didn't really didn't feel safe camping there. Plus, there's no water, and um, she needs water. She's running low, so we're kind of starting to um, save our water and stuff just in case we don't see any water source. But, um, yeah, so we're going to try to press on to Butter Gap, which is like another one and three-eighths mile or so. so. Oh. oh, yeah, down here in this little tunnel. And we're going to press on and just see where we end up. And we're just hoping to find water at this point. That's my biggest concern. I'll worry about camp after we get water. But, um, because on Gaia, it shows that there's some sort of water source up here. It shows a little water symbol, but um, I don't know if it's flowing or not. So, <sighs> the misadventures, I tell you. Right, I think, I think I'm picking an easy loop, and it turns out not to be so easy. Thing. We're just make the best of it. Maybe you know, sleep in a little in the morning just to kind of give our bodies time to rest. But we got fine water and found a place to camp first. But at least I will say, at least, at least with the uh, rhododendron tunnel, it's kind of blocked the wind while we're dropping down, so it's not as cold as put it once up on the ridge. Okay, I'll just keep fucking this is a little steep. So, just taking our time. Just over a mile to be better than that. Unless we see a super nice campsite before then. But honestly, like we're just kind of worried about water. But we should be closing in on whatever the alleged water source is up here. Sally obviously thinks there's something. She's picked up her face. Or maybe this is where me and Caitlin got water. Yeah, because I hung it off of one of these limbs. Uh, oh, big step. Alright, so at least there's water here. It's low, but hopefully I'll be able to get my bag somewhere where I can dip it and get water out. All right, I got Tara on her first night hike. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Sally. We gotta give room. I don't have to SOS out of here. No, no, no. Let's not SOS anywhere. I can't afford that. Jeez. 4.77, that's where the water source was, so. At least it was flowing. Now we're not hiking. And my bag didn't want to zip, so I'm having to carry it. Lovely. But at least it's only maybe a mile to camp. So we'll just take our time and enjoy the night hike. 
knock things up so y'all can see. And then my face. Well, I guess that's not that bad. Yeah, it's not bad. There's like a you know, step up on that little yeah. log there. I didn't realize the dirt went up around it. Yeah. And then the log went to the wall when I'm on it. <laughs> Here looks like a campsite at 4.87. Oh, there's a star. I don't know. We might as well just keep going to the shelter. We should be. Yeah, we're under a mile. Might as well. That looks tent friendly. I don't know about hammock friendly. Because the trees look kind of far apart. Should be the last last time we have at mile five. Oh look at that sky. Gorgeous. Let's see. That's so cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's just dang one. I think here would typically be another water source, but it's dry. Five point three eight. I mean, they ain't a lick of water here at all. Just under a three eighths of a mile to the gap. So hopefully nobody somebody's there. So we're not disturbing people. And it's only 622, but it feels like nine. Just because it's so dark right now. Because the only thing about winter backpacking is just the short days. Just, yeah. Oh man. I'm ready for dinner. there. 
So here's a little bit of water at uh, it's 0.14 from the shelter, 5.71 along our route. So here's another flowing water source here. Point, uh, point one from Better Gap, 5.7 now on the route. Oh, I think we're close to the shelter. Should be under a tent at this point. So ready for dinner and just to rest and enjoy camp life for a bit. I'm going tired. Oh, maybe it's up here. Nobody's here. So this is the new shelter. I think they finished it a few months ago. Nice fire pit. These look like trees. I don't see it on the dead ones. So I'm honestly wondering if I couldn't just hang my hammock in here. That's cool, they got the little pack hooks and stuff. Mouse traps. People are already drawing and signing things. So. We made it! <laughs> oh, I guess there's the water source thing. <laughs> That's a big dead tree right there. Leaning. Yeah, it is running. I mean, it's slow, but it is running. Well, that's good, because we can have a fire later. So, do we want to go up there and kind of scope out a place to hang the hammocks, or? Yeah, I'll drop on this pack real quick. No problem. I'm going to hang. I figure we could, like, sit here and cook dinner and stuff. Yeah. Let me take your water off and hang it up. So I got my sour jelly beans, got my hot chocolate and espresso in there, or instant coffee, and mushroom pot pie by a company that has went out of business, unfortunately. We got beef stew warming up the hands. <laughs> oh, the fire's going good now. Maybe someday I'd be... I mean, we could try, I mean, because like, you know, I was over to well, day hike. Set. It'll be The fun. apple part. <laughs> Sally has just become disassociative and had herself underneath the shelter. Not in the shelter, underneath the shelter. <laughs> Sally, what do you guys say about it? Pot pie is good. How's the beef stew? Good. Good. And the fire. Sure, it's not as good. Yeah, so we'll hang the bear bags. So luckily here at Butter Gap, there's actually a bear cable. Bear cables. Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So we got our bear bags hung. This one here is yeah. broke. I don't think that's supposed to be like that. So we had to use the second one. But 
Unless they're hunting and we didn't have to throw a cable. Get our hands warm one last time. Fun day on trail. That was fun. Enjoy dinner. Mushroom pot pie is always a win. Um, yeah, it's been fun. So we will call it a night. I'll sit here and read for a little bit so I don't look. And just enjoy being in the shelter. So we'll see y'all in the morning.